Hi, I'm Tom Morello. I'd like to wish a congratulations to my good friends in Alice in Chains on this well-deserved award. Uh, Alice in Chains is one of the greatest rocking bands of the last three decades, uh, in part because they combined, unapologetically combined, their heavy metal heritage with uh, profoundly deep underground artistry and haunting music and poetry that will resonate through the ages. Uh, the first time I saw Alice in Chains, they were opening up for Extreme at a small Orange County club. Uh, during the, their opening set, I was the only one in the front row and probably the only one there that really had a clue what, was, what the fuck was going on. Uh, and they blew my mind and been blowing my mind ever since. Uh, the first time I met them, though, was at Lollapalooza in 1993. Alice in Chains were headlining and Rage Against the Machine were opening. We were newbies on the touring scene and they welcomed us with open arms and also welcomed us with a very weird gift in the dressing room. It was like this gift box that had, that like someone went to the 99 cent store and bought one of every crazy thing. There were like spatulas and gum and... <laughs> and Gumby and Pokey dolls and whatever was there, but they really welcomed us and we became good friends. I spent a lot of time laughing with Lane, arguing which of us was more metal. At the end of the day, it was perhaps him, though I'm still trying. Uh, Jerry has been a great friend through the years and whenever I've asked him to play at any benefit concert, he's one of the first to always say yes. It's been great jamming with him. Uh, I admit that when the new version of Alice in Chains announced that they were debuting at the Roxy, that I was somewhat skeptical. And I went as a fan with fingers crossed and they blew my fucking mind. It had every bit of the power and the awesomeness and the, the depth um, of all of my favorite Alice in Chains shows of the past. So congratulations to all the members of Alice in Chains and uh, keep that rocking alive. And next time I see you, we'll decide once and for all who is most metal.